What is up YouTube fam, TJB Fishing Outdoors, coming back with another video and today what we're going to be doing is cleaning a spinning reel. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. This one is extremely dusty and I haven't used it a whole lot so there shouldn't, it should just be dust on everything. But if you use one a lot, there will probably be a lot of dirt and it'll be, uh, there will just be a more lot of crap in there. And you definitely want to clean these probably every season, so winter spring summer and fall every time or you can go more than that if you want and these are super easy to clean and I'll show you guys how to do that but before we get into anything I want to tell you guys the verse of the day which comes from Proverbs 17 17 a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity take that verse with you throughout your week now before we get into cleaning also right after the verse of the day I want to let you guys know if we hit 250 subs before the end of January, I have a box of lures down here that's probably out of the frame, I'm not sure, but I have a box of lures down there that I've shown in previous videos and I showed you guys a little sneak peek in the last video or two videos ago I believe of what's in there and I'll be giving away, I'll just like reach my hand in there, pick out something and give it to one lucky subscriber but we have to hit 250 subs before that and if we do any comment you leave from the month of january during this challenge is an entry in that giveaway so be sure to be subscribed if you're new now let's get into cleaning it's very simple i'll walk you guys through it if you guys are unsure and i'll have other cleaning videos out as well so this is still rigged up. Now you can take the line off if you'd like. I'm not going to just for ease of mind. So you, un you take the drag off, so you loosen up the drag all the way. And then once you do that, it should just pop right off. And I'm hitting everything. So I'm going to set that aside. Alrighty guys, sorry about that, my camera just died. But, if you have already taken your drag apart, well, unscrewed it all the way like this. Next, what you're gonna do, so once you have this apart, then you just take your spool off. Yeah, you pro it'd probably be best to take the line off or whatnot. But, it is just pretty, it's just dusty in here, really. But it always, it doesn't hurt to do a good cleaning. So, this is what it looks like. The of the inside don't lose any of these pieces by the way but the inside of here we're gonna clean in here in here and just around all of this and then we'll take the handle off and oil that and everything like that so I'm gonna leave this all in my pocket but I gotta have I'm a little bit of that so I'm gonna have a little bit of alcohol here rub it rubbing alcohol that is just clean off what I said so I'll clean the outside as well but don't rub too vigorously because then you'll get the cotton uh, the pieces of cotton in there so clean all the dirt off of it clean the outside off of it and there's that and then I'm going to clean the inside of it where the spool sits this is where a lot of your dirt will come is right in here where a lot of it will be collected. Wherever the spool covers up when you have it on is where a lot of the dirt will get collected. So be sure to clean that really good. But definitely go uh, light on this because if you go too aggressive, you can take the paint off, which is not good. Aesthetically, I guess. And then I'm gonna clean the real seat here. It serves no purpose except for just looks, but clean everything. Much of that. I don't know if you can tell. That is dirty, dirty. Already gone through one Q-tip. This is my second one. I'm just cleaning the outside here with it. And cleaning your reels like this should help with longevity of it. So once I have cleaned all of this, so now I'm gonna take some oil and put it on these bearings here and then I'm going to put my spool back on and then oil so whenever you open and close your bail um, right 
right at this hinge part. Oil that. I would take once. I would take one screw off at a time if they if they do have screws. I just loosen it up just a little bit. Then I'm gonna squirt some oil down in there. Probably wouldn't hurt to take that off and clean it, but I'm just gonna try to make it smoother. Tighten one side up and do the other, and then work that oil in. It should be really buttery smooth. So once you've got that, then I'm going to take the real handle off, just unscrew it, and it should pop out. You can take your real handle out, so I'm going to put some grease on the handle here so it can slide through, and then just stick your back on in there, put your screw up, and I almost lost your screw or your nut back on whichever however your spinning reel is oh yeah that is buttery smooth then once you have finally cleaned your reel cleaned your excess up and all of that good stuff then you just match it up so it should be a square which you match up and then it should just slide back on make sure your line is under your bail Tighten this back up, but before that, I'm going to add a drop of oil just on this. Then tighten your drag back down and put it back on your rod, and you're ready to go. So, that is how to clean a spinning reel. Pretty simple. Hopefully, this was a short video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be subscribed if you need to take the rest of the day with you. Now, I'll catch you guys on the water. Peace.